Hello friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Morning Dew, a daily events worldwide. And we are on March 23rd, 2021. Welcome to another surviving day on the planet. Welcome to the Daily Dew, where we look at space weather, of course, world weather and earthquakes, disaster alerts. Starting out here, looking at the sun for the last 48 hours, large plasma filament ejecting from the Northern Rim. Looking at incoming images here, two small fiery regions have come into view small cresting region brightening up and earth facing sunspot not really much action large plasma filaments here erecting from the limbs looking here at another light you can see the large plasma filament across the southern region and then lit up like a Christmas tree across the north. Also observing that small CME and two equatorial becoming Earth-facing coronal holes. Looking here at the KP index for the last eight hours or for the next eight hours, we are still pretty calm. Real-time solar wind, we're sitting at 400 and 450 kilometers per second and we're expecting the coronal hole wind stream and as well this little bit of space weather from the CME tomorrow throughout the day looking here at the enril spiral you can see that energy thwarted our way and we're just going to get a glancing blow right in the middle of a coronal hole wind stream. So it should be interesting indeed. You don't see it often. Watch for a space weather increase. Looking at the Schumann resonance for today. Big quality of 294. Amplitude of 23. We did have that large spike there. Looking here at the last 24 hours for earthquakes. Starting out here, most recent, California, Sears Valley, 3.1 at a two kilometer depth. Saw some small quakes along the coastline through California today, 2.7 and as well 2.9 and a 2.5 or 2.8. As well north here in Oregon, Lestane, Oregon. And a small swarm here in White City, New Mexico, 2.7s, ranging 3.0. Interesting what's going on there. As well, minor earthquakes still through Oklahoma. Puerto Rico, small earthquakes, not many today. 4.8 here in Colombia, as well a 4.6 in Peru quiet South American plate today looking here over the Arabian plate 4.3 there Iran 4.2 in Tajikistan and as well Afghanistan with a 4.3 5.4 here in Aksu China and as well a 4.7 northern Mongolia or eastern Mongolia Philippines 4.4 as well, 4.9, 4.9 here, Indonesia, as well, a 5.0 here, Port Olroy, Vanuatu. And then our deepest earthquake today, 
4.4 at a 556 kilometer depth VG as well some action here southern Indian Ridge 5.0 quiet through Alaska watch for that to increase in the next 24 hours and as well here a 5.4 in Svalbard North Pole and that's the last 24 hours for earthquakes pretty quiet day considering looking at the last seven days still seeing a lot of deep earthquakes across the world right now some increased action through the Atlantic plate quiet through the African plate and as well small increase in seismicity along the west coast through North America and as well South America increasing in deep earthquakes still watching minor aftershocks through the Krimadex well, let's get to the Pacific Disaster Center where today still some tornado threats are popping up across Texas and eastward southeastern United States Quad Cities Iowa as well St. Louis Missouri a couple tornado watches went out flood warnings continue across most of the southeastern United States looking here at the most recent volcanoes Etna and Rung Fuego Pacaya Sabincaya as well Popo Venimianov Dakono the Swiss and Ajima Sangay, Era, Raventador, Cinnabung. So that's about 14 volcanoes being updated today, actively erupting, as well, of course, Krisovic. Also, have some flooding conditions that are growing throughout Colombia. Just over the past few hours, they're seeing some intense daily evaporation rains, torrential downpours in a lot of areas. So thoughts and prayers to everybody being affected by the floods through Colombia and Peru today. Big storms running through there. As well, Australia looking to dry out here for the next couple days as the next as we will see a northern system move in later in the week. But for the next couple days it will be dry. As well, looking at flooding conditions across Indonesia. As well, stormy conditions across Java, West Java, East Java. So thoughts and prayers to everybody being affected by these floods as well. So many people and lives being displaced by floods across the world. Let's have a look at the five-day forecast brought to you by Media Earth, Media Mike. Starting out here in Calgary, Alberta. Home base. As yeah, look at that. We do have a big low pressure system coming through, and it looks like it's going to be coming through Wednesday into Thursday. Now, ahead of it is going to be some very warm moisture, but behind it, it's going to be cold. So, let's just have a look at this track of the low pressure system. It's going to bring a lot of rain and snow to the BC coastline, and as well, a very windy and mixed bag event through Calgary as that low pressure system forms right over southern Alberta so watch for rain ahead of this system and snow behind it we could see about 5 to 10 centimeters maybe 20 centimeters depending on how fast it moves through and you can see the low pressure system spawns off one through the north and then joins forces with a Colorado low here out of the Gulf or sorry, becomes a Colorado low to join with a Gulf low. And that's going to bring quite a big rain system towards Ontario Friday into the weekend. But still some cold temperatures across most of central Canada and the plains. Up into Quebec, minus teens still, minus 20 in some areas. And there's still this high pressure ridge cold polar vortex 
getting ready to lock itself in over the Hudson Bay for another week or so. Looking here over Europe, some seasonable temperatures moving in. Low pressure system here finally moving out of the Mediterranean. But watch as these systems start to bring some moisture to the United Kingdom. You could see snow, higher elevations. As well, Iceland will be dealing with a very large low pressure system here. Big winter storm heading to Iceland. Overlooking China, Southeastern Asia. Not much to talk about but through Indonesia and Malaysia. Watch for heavy rains to continue over the next few days. Daily evaporation rains, mostly West Java. Overlooking Australia. You can see that big system finally moves out, but we'll be heading to Tasmania. And then later in the week, watch for moisture to move in. Overlooking Hawaii. No systems. You've got some pretty fair weather headed against, headed for you. And Alaska and into northern BC. Watch for this low to come in. Thursday into Friday. Overlooking South America, daily evaporation rains. Heavy towards eastern parts of Colombia. And as well, Peru. And big systems here heading to southern Argentina, the Chile, overlooking Africa. No major systems affecting you, except for daily evaporation rains. Could be heavier towards the Congo region, as per usual. And no major systems affecting the West Indies, nor into India. And no cyclones, no hurricanes to talk about. I'm going to leave you here looking at the northern hemisphere versus the southern. Much love to everybody and thank you for watching today. I appreciate all of your viewerships and your support to the channel. Stay aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun. And get your morning due. Prayers for humanity. Bye-bye. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family from across the world.